we've got here is a, is a system to be able to give a continuous um, albuterol to a patient while giving um, co uh, constant uh, pressure, CPAP. Um, so what we were doing as far as a plan was to do MDIs, but for those patients who are in severe di distress, pediatric patients, we need to give them a little bit of pressure because they're hypoxic, they need some, uh, some treatment to open up their airways. And so what we've done is we put together a BiPAP mask. This is a large one though, but we'd have a small one for the pediatric uh, cases. We used a continuous um, aerogen system connected to a T-piece, used a filter, a bacterial filter, um, 0.27 microns, 99.99% um, um, filtering. So we'd hook up the oxygen at the bottom over here. It'd give enough flow. We'd put the treatment albuterol in the cup here, place it on the patient, and they'd be able to breathe while getting a continuous treatment. And it would prevent aerosol from escaping. Is that with the COVID-19, you don't want to expose people to the aerosols. So the whole idea was to only give MDIs. The issue with the MDIs is that when you get to a certain, um, well, if you use all your MDIs, if they're short uh, in supply, then you're gonna have to come up with a different way to uh, nebulize your treatments or to give your treatments. And this was the way that we came up with it. Okay, what we have here was uh, sort of like a homemade uh, CPAP that was uh, developed down in the ER by uh, Dr. Mattal, Kyle, and a few other people, and we kind of modified it. And so what you got here is an Ambu bag. You have a bacterial filter. You have a um, H-liner um, entitled CO2 monitoring. On the other end, you have a, a T-piece for uh, a Misty Neb nebulizer for albuterol or whatever medication that you're gonna deliver. And then you have uh, an oral nasal BiPAP mask. And so what we did, what was done, was that we removed the elbow that would be here connected to your oral nasal mask, put a, a, a blue adapter. Blue adapter was placed on one side of the, the larger side of the T-piece. And it fits really good. The large part just slides right in there and the rubber adapter kind of makes a really good seal. And it's really hard to get out. Okay, the idea of this T-piece is when you put a Misty Neb on here, it'll push up the spring and open up um, the little cap inside so that your medication can go into the mask and to the patient while he's breathing. The story behind this is if we're going to give medications, we're out of MDIs. And of course, if you have a patient stress, you want to give them um, a continuous breathing or some kind of breathing treatment. You want to do it so that you don't have any aerosol coming out of the mask or of your system, because it'll, it may contaminate uh, other people with a COVID-19. So the idea was to be able to give positive pressure while giving a treatment and not exposing staff unnecessarily. So the way it works, you'll connect your bag into your O2 source, make sure you got adequate flow in your res reservoir bag. And you can also, if, if you need to, if you need to assist the patient in breathing, you can also assist in ventilation. But this is meant to be a, a CPAP device, a low CPAP. You can adjust your CPAP level by adjusting your, your PEEP valve. So typically we'll usually have them at five to 10. We're monitoring end tidal CO2 with your H line. Have that plug into the monitor. And then when giving your treatment, you're also adding flow on the, on the mask with the treatment. And so what's monitored back here is your PEEP with your pressure manometer. It's not coming from the bag, it's actually coming from the O2 connected to the front of the bag here and with your treatment. So you're able to give positive pressure while administering a treatment in the ICU on the front lines without exposing your, your co-workers and other patients.